In this tutorial we'll briefly go over the character collection and how we can create equipable types um, so that we can equip certain items into certain slots. So by default, or in the last tutorial actually, we copied over the standard UI, which already has a character window, which you can see here. And in the container it's got a bunch of slots. So I'm just going to delete all of these and then we'll create our own ones as well as the character image because we currently don't actually have one. So looking at the character UI first, we have the same collection values as before. Um, one thing you likely want to do is in the restrictions, you want to say that we only want equipable types in this specific collection. So that means you can only equip equipable items. If you made your own equipable item, you can just add another one here and then you say match any and you can add your own equipable type. So if you're using UFPS or Play Game or any other third-party asset, you want to make sure that you add it to the restriction here. The stats collection UI is a reference to the UI object that we have on the side here. This will show all of the stats that belong to this specific character. Right now it's empty, but at runtime this will be filled up. But we'll see that later. So because we actually want to set the slots ourselves and then index those rather than generate them at runtime, we want to check manually define collection in our character collection right here. So as you can see, it's now searching for wrappers inside of our um, inside of our container, that one, which is currently zero because it is currently empty. So if we click this, we can actually start adding our slots to this collection. So by default, we can actually grab an existing one. So if we go to DevDoc, Inventory Pro, Demos, and then Assets, UI, and then we've got UI underscore prefabs. And here we've got a bunch of prefabs that we can actually directly use uh, to build our to build our UI. So let's see here. We have the UI item prefab, and as you can see, it's got a collection slot on it. It's got an image and a couple of elements. Uh, as children. So we can just drag this one in right now into our container and as you can see we have our basic item here. This is an icon which is currently set to the apple but this will be repainted at runtime. We've got the amount which is shown in the corner here but it's currently empty so if I say three. We've got a cooldown although we don't actually need that for the character UI most likely but I'll leave it in for now. So now that we have our slot, we want to add an equipable slot. So this tells which equipments or which equipable types can be equipped in this specific slot. So I'm just going to edit the types and make sure I have the right database. So if we click the create equipment type, we can specify a name, for example, where we want the equipment slot to fit, so the head. And then we want to add an equipment handler. In this case, we can say a child equipment handler. You can implement your own equipment handlers, but we'll go over this in another tutorial. So let's give or create some basic equipment types. So for example, we have the head, we have the body, we have something for the feet. And left hand. And right hand. Okay, so now if we go back to our character collection, we can go to the um, equipment field that we just created before, the equipable slot, click the plus and we can specify which type we would like to add um, or allow to be equipped in this specific slot. So if we go for example with head, we can now equip any item, equipable item, that is of type head or equipment type head. So let's create a few more. It's going to call this one head. One for the body. One for the feet. And then we can do a left and right hand. Okay. 
All right. So now if we go back to our character window, you can see it found five of our slots right here. And now we can actually create an equipable item that uses this equipment type. So if we create a new item and choose an equipable inventory item, I'm not going to actually use a model right now, or actually we could select one. I think I've got a sort model, simple sort. And then we create a new item. See if we have an icon. There we go. Then we have to select the equipment type right here. So this will equip to the right hand. And we can give it some stats. So let's say, which stats did we define again? With health, wood cutting, let's just create a strength stat. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we can set our strength. And let's just say it adds 10 strength. Uh, we can specify the minimal requirement in order to equip this item, but for now we'll just leave it blank. We can set a rarity, a category, uh, do we have this? Weapons. Okay, we can set a buy and sell price, but for now we'll just leave it blank. We can't stack the items, uh, the weight, so four. Okay, so now we can click the eye again and select the object in our assets. Now I'm just going to go here, drag the item in. So now we can pick up the item, equip it, and our stats should change. So I click on the items, right click to equip, and as you can see the item got equipped and our strength actually changed by 10.